So guys, welcome back to the Our Family channel. A little bit different, me on my own. Um, I just wanted to talk to you myself because there's something that I'm going through and there might be other people out there that are going through exactly the same thing. So I just thought it'd be a little bit more intimate if it was just me on my own rather than putting it into one of the family vlogs. Um, for the past couple of weeks, I've been um, experiencing dizziness, headaches, sweating, um, a number of things anyway. And then just like gaining a little bit of weight, like it fluctuating, it coming on, it going off, it coming on, it going off. Now, I actually suffer with um, irritable, irritable bowel syndrome anyway. So I actually thought most of the symptoms were because of that, because it was getting worse or it might have been because I weren't taking enough of my tablets because I'd stopped taking them for a bit. <coughs> anyway, more to the point is that I actually thought after a few weeks because of the going dizzy and just all the symptoms that I'd had over the past couple of months and then obviously most of you know that I ended up in hospital a few months ago because I collapsed and that was because my blood pressure was going up and down and up and down and they couldn't seem to get it to go back up anyway when I got to the hospital they managed to get it back up by putting me on um, fluids and that managed to bring it back up to where it should have been now after that I started like getting really bad stomach cramps. I was getting pain in me my boobs. Um, I was just getting real bad headaches. I was tired all the time. I was just like falling asleep in the afternoon. And that's why the vlogs started going backwards a little bit because obviously this was just starting to get a little bit worrying. So then I thought, could I be pregnant? So we went out and got two pregnancy tests and both of the pregnancy tests came back negative. So that ruled that out. I wasn't pregnant. Then I thought, could I be going through the menopause? And everyone that I spoke to said, just check it, just check it. You never know. But I doubt it because you're too young. Now, menopause usually starts from around the age 45 to 51. So, it crossed my mind, but it didn't. When I actually got taken into the hospital, I actually asked them would they test me for it, and they said that it wouldn't be something they'd offer because, obviously, I was only young, and I think you've got to be 40 before they'll even try and test it. So, saying that, I thought, well, the best thing to do, just to put my own mind at rest, was to go out and buy a test. So, that's what I did. I went out and bought this. This is a menopause test. And it says that it's accurate and reliable, easy to use, and individually packed. And the results were in five minutes. So, I went out and bought one of these tests. Now, I was actually going to put this in the vlog last night, but I just thought it would have been better if I just did it on its own. Now, obviously, a lot of people know I'm only 37, and menopause doesn't usually start till 45, 50, at least. Now, if it runs in your family where your mum started early, it's more likely that you will follow whatever your mum's done. So, if your mum started early, you're probably 99% going to start early as well. Now, my mum started at around the same age. She, she was about 36 when my mum started. It's not actually called menopause at the beginning. I think it's called post-menopause. Oh, I might be wrong. Correct me if I am. So, anyway... I did the test and the test came back positive and the test is like this 
So it's a little stick like a pregnancy test. And you have two lines. I don't know if you'll be able to see it there, but you have two lines in this box. And obviously, this dark line is your main line, and this is telling you how far into menopause you are. So this is quite light at the minute. It's still there, but basically what it says is like you get a thick line and it's got to be symmetrical so they've got to be exactly the same for it to be full menopause and that's why they say when it's only half a line it's like the early stages <clears throat> so we did this and then tonight I actually went to the doctors and he confirmed that this is the start of the menopause so he said that I can take some hormone replacement tablets but he doesn't want me to take them until I've had blood test done next week so that's what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go for blood test next week he's gonna see how far into the menopause I actually am and see what whether I should take them now although I've had them sim the symptoms of the menopause and I've been feeling quite rough I've been able to deal with it so I don't think I'm gonna take the hormone replacement tablets although they recommend it I think if it came to a point where I really did need them then I probably would do but I've been able to manage with what I've been going through at the minute so I think I can cope with it and I spoke to a few people and they've said if you can try and avoid going on him because there is a lot of um, things that come with it like this is a full sheet that the doctor's given me. What is menopause? It says, what causes menopause? The long-term changes and problems. You know, these are all the things that the, um, I forgot what it's called, the HRT, hormone replacement tablets can cause. So I'll just go through some of the things that it says you can actually so cancer of the womb a stroke cancer of the ovaries other points about risk the risk of developing the diseases mentioned above can develop on a combination of many factors for example your family history and lifestyle factors such as smoking obesity diet etc also affect the risk of the conditions so there is quite a lot of stuff here that I could actually go through um, but obviously I don't want to go into great detail on a blog but I just wanted to make people aware really that you know you sit there and you think I'm too young for that well no actually because it's the doctor said that it's actually becoming even more popular in people from even the age of 19 and they do recommend that people start using these tests the funny thing is when I actually took this test into the doctors because when I went in he said to me what's your problem like they do and when I said I think I'm on the change I think I'm going through menopause so he said how do you know that so I said I've done this test and it's come back positive so it was like really shocked because he didn't even know that there was one of these actually in the shops that you could buy now this test only cost three pound and to be fair it's it's good you know why would you go and pay 15 pound for one from a chemist when you can get a three pound one and it tells you exactly the same thing excuse me but yeah um the doctor was like oh god that's so good <coughs> I can't believe that they even do these tests so obviously he didn't need to do the test so he's just sending me for blood tests to find out how far it is but like I said it's just really to make people aware that you can actually start the menopause quite early on in life <coughs> and you know it's it can be worrying for some people because obviously especially people that have not got any children 
and especially if you're going through that and you know it's like if if you don't know you're going through it and you've just stopped your periods you know and then you can't get pregnant then basically can you so it's not as bad for me and Dave because obviously we've got nine kids between us obviously I've got I already had five before I met Dave and then me and Dave got four together <coughs> now me and Dave were planning to have another baby now we're gonna wait for the blood test next week because the doctor advised that if you've had a period that's not been normal it's obviously a sign that they're going to start stopping and that means I won't be able to get pregnant again now my last period lasted one day I that was it I came on at the night on the period and then I bled for one day and then it just stopped the day after which was worrying because that's what made me think I'm a pregnant because that's one of the things that I did in my last pregnancy I still had periods like for the first couple of months and then it just stopped and I just wondered why so it's like I, I don't even know how I feel about it because I kind of weren't expecting it but then it was always in the back of my mind wondering whether I was going to start the menopause early <clears throat> and obviously I'm just one of them people but I'm one of the lucky people that have got kids and it wouldn't be such a bad thing to me now because it would probably be better because then at least I know I'm not going to get pregnant and I won't have to take any contraception will I? Because it will be done. But like I said, me and Dave were hoping to have another baby so we're just going to wait for the blood test next week and then we're going to speak to the doctor and the doctor said he would advise that if you do you want another baby? I would try now because the chances are it's gonna come it seems to be coming on real real quick so I could I could go through it and within the next six months it'll be done. So if I don't try now then there's a possibility that we won't get the last baby that we wanted. And a lot of people will be sitting there saying, Well you've got nine kids, you don't really need another baby but that's just what we want to do you know we want to even our family out we want to we want to have that opportunity just to have that last bundle of joy and you know we've done it nine times or I've done it nine times so it wouldn't really be any big difference to me so anyway I just wanted to share that with you and just let you know that these tests are available in Wilkinson's. I got this from Wilkinson's and it was £3. It was a bargain. We actually went to another chemist and it was like £15. And I just thought, I'm not paying it. I'd rather go to the doctors and I'd have a blood test. Anyway, when I seen this, I thought, you know what? It's worth checking. You know, if there's anybody else out there that are just getting symptoms, most of the symptoms are sore breaths, sweating, um like panic attacks, um, blood pressure, feeling like it's rising, headaches, bloating, stomach cramps, um, there's so many but there is so much on the internet that you can look up on and I'm sure if you go to your doctors and just get some information on it you know you're quite happy to give it to you. So anyway that's me done and dusted telling you about my little midlife crisis and I hope that you all give this video a big thumbs up there will be some that won't um but I know that I'll have everybody else's support and thank you for watching my menopause video <laughs> so anyway good night guys and enjoy the rest of your night and we will see you tomorrow in the next vlog. Good night.